This is a must-have exotic. After completing the legendary campaign, I chose the Titan's Hazardous Propulsion. It's the real deal. And in today's review, I want to talk about what it does, all the percentages, how to use it, the interactions that it has, and importantly, how to abuse it. All for PvE and PvP. The exotic perk, Danger Close. Weapon precision hits or final blows have a chance to load a kinetic Exodus rocket. Activating your class ability fires loaded Exodus rockets. Damaging targets with Exodus rockets temporarily increases the damage you deal with all other rockets. On the left side of the screen, as you get kills with precision hits, it fills up a meter to a max of six. And it's very generous. I mean, very generous. I'm talking on just a red bar ad here. I got two stacks, one for a precision hit at one point and then another for a final blow. So you're gonna have stacks. Once you use your class ability, it's like the rockets come out of your front pocket. Just like the sponsor of today's video, Ridge. Father's Day is coming up on Sunday, June 16th. And if you just panicked, Ridge has your back. They have an awesome Father's Day sale going on with massive discounts up to 40%. And these wallets are awesome. I actually gave my dad his first last year for Father's Day and he's never going back. And I've been using a Ridge for over three years. They've upped their game with their new MagSafe wallets. It's a classic Ridge wallet. It's got a custom plate with two arc magnets. You can attach the plate to your iPhone. Maybe you'd have an AirTag on top and never lose it again. Super strong materials. It's slim, it's ready to go. Keeping your life on the go all in one piece. They have a ton of styles to choose from, just like their new High Dive Blue Wallet. True story, my mother-in-law's husband knows I do YouTube, watches a lot of YouTube. He's always wanted a Ridge wallet. And he asked me if he could help shoot the footage. I said, absolutely. So this is his Father's Day gift this year. That with the key case. And the key case is by far one of my favorite accessories. It's slim, holds up to six keys, zero noise. The best part about it. No more noisy keys just jingling around. I love it. But don't just take it from me. They have over 3 million customers and more than 50,000 five-star reviews. Each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty, and that's something every dad's going to love. The Ridge wallet expands and holds up to 12 cards, plus room for cash. And it's all as slim as possible. And they're safer than the dad wallets of old. They're designed with RFID blocking materials that help protect your dad from digital pickpocketers. And if he's like me, again, they also offer the optional AirTag attachment, so he'll never have to blindly hunt for his wallet again. So a big thank you to Ridge for sponsoring the channel and for helping us show our dad some love this year with one of the biggest sales of the year. Check them out at ridge.com backslash cool guy and save up to 40% with my link. That's ridge.com backslash cool guy whatever class ability you have thruster any barricade they go up and out and each rocket deals 28,950 in this example and you get a max stack of six exodus rockets so that's a total here of 173,700 damage all from your class ability. To put that into perspective, a base Apex rocket deals 98,329. So the class ability exotic is dealing 77% more damage than a base legendary rocket. You haven't even done anything yet. And look, for the test footage, we're gonna be taking a look at percentages because the deal is when I use a good rocket, it deletes so fast I can't get numbers. So we're gonna be looking at the call, the new strand rocket sidearm. And yes, it's a rocket source. It gets the buff from the exotic. The stacks do matter. This rocket sidearm deals 18,197 total damage at base, but each stack of Ekidus rockets that you send out will be your stack of damage with a max of six. So if you use your class ability, only have one charge, you get the damage of a one stack. And on the screen, you've been seeing those stacks, the percentages. The main goal is six always. But you go from base to 10% more, 17, 24, 30, then the max of 35% more damage. That's where you want to be, six Exodus rockets. And that's, again, just from the exotic. More on that in a bit. When the Exodus rockets hit, you get 10 seconds of whatever your damage stack was. So ideally, 10 seconds of 35% more damage to your rockets. And it's a true 10 seconds. This is a case where double zero does not count. So since it's from the exotic, you can add on. This particular call has one for all on it. So 35% on top of the 35%, it takes the total damage from base to 82%. And say from there, you add on triple weapon surge for strand. That's 22% more. You end up with this strand rocket sidearm dealing 122% more damage from base over double damage. And from there, remember, this is from the weapon in the exotic. There's still buffs and debuffs, a tether, radio, whatever. You can get whatever rocket you're using to well over three times damage. And again, this is just the rocket sidearm, and it's a great one at that. So in a damage phase, with let's say an apex bait and switch, you could land crits, get your stacks up because you don't need final blows, pop the barricades, send out the rockets, use the rocket sidearm, whatever special, switch to apex. You fire your bait and switch shots. As it's reloading, switch back to the rocket sidearm. It is really good, y'all. Big clean damage. And why I use a rocket sidearm in a lot of this, keep in mind, when it extrapolates, the numbers get large. So like, if you were to take a rocket sidearm dealing 20,000 damage, if it gets double damage, yeah, it goes to 40,000. But if a rocket deals 100,000 damage, it's going to 200,000 damage. Bigger numbers mean percentages spread more. So even if you're solo using Gallarhorn or something like a wild one is Grand Overture. With Omega Strike, you land hits with the slug, you load up up to 20 missiles, you long press and they all fire in a volley. So if you get the max stack, 
pop the barricade, use the exotic perk, that's 20 missiles, all dealing 35% more damage. Each one's mostly doing 32,581. You see some impact damage, you see some 54,000 ones, like 700,000 damage. Just stupid damage. So Deathbringer, Two-Tailed Fox, a lot will work. I don't have time to walk through them all, but even using a legendary rocket and a teammate using Gallarhorn, even you using Gallarhorn, working with bait and switch rockets, explosive light, whatever, on top of using a rocket sidearm, tons of possibilities, massive damage. So much, I think I am gonna be taking this into the day one raid. You still have buffs and debuffs on top. So now on Titan, how can you abuse it? What do you wanna do? We have a new perk, it's on a lot of weapons, but it's also on the new rocket sidearm you've been seeing the call, Strategist. Final blows with this weapon generate class ability energy. Activating your class ability briefly improves this weapon's ability. So this roll, Strategist one for all, hit three separate targets, 35% more damage. When I get kills with it, I get class ability energy. And this perk's like a demo, like a pugilist. Instead of melee or grenade, it's giving class, and it's also a special weapon. There's this perk. Keep in mind things like Wellspring or something like a Guardian Games weapon. Within the origin trait, classic contender, kills get you class ability energy. But there's different routes, but strategists on a special weapon. This alone, getting those final blows. And the rocket sidearms are very ammo efficient. You get it back a lot faster. Then you could double up. On Strand, you have the Lash. Throw your barricade out, it will suspend, and it's also throwing rockets on the suspended targets. You add in Threat of Mind, a fragment, defeating suspended targets grants class ability energy. So those suspended targets hit with that strategist sidearm, double time. And you have the Shackle Grenade, so you can suspend a group of enemies, take them down with the sidearm. Maybe you have a Strand Warlock with you, suspending everything. There's a fast turnaround here, a fast loop. The strategist sidearm, this one is a great example for this exotic. All of it is strong. Getting kills with it, making sure you're getting suspend kills, get that class ability energy fast. And sometimes when that 35% timer runs out, you're gonna have it back again to send out six more rockets. There's also Prismatic. The Prismatic Grenade is crazy for Titan. It suspends, it jolts, then you're hitting things with a rocket source. Crazy good. And I'm not gonna get into, but there's still Void, there's Solar, there's more. Endless routes. Main thing, anything that can accelerate your class ability energy, using the proper rocket source, could be bait and switch, could be an exotic, a rocket sidearm added in. You have the barricade Exodus rockets doing a ton of damage. Then you have damage perks on your weapons, then you have buffs and debuffs. It's very strong. As far as PvP, kinda interesting. Same type of deal, but in the Crucible, each rocket deals 28 damage. And as far as getting the stacks, is it as generous as PvE? Yes. And I found that harder hitting weapons get the stacks a little bit faster. Sometimes two stacks off of one enemy. One for dueling and one for the final blow. If anything, just land hits. It comes up pretty quick. So precision hits, final blows get stacks, pop your class ability, six rockets. That's 168 damage, that's pretty good. Of course, you need your class ability, and in PvE and the Crucible, you're gonna be at max resilience anyway, so the barricade or thruster is gonna be as fast as it could go. But if you have the lash on, the suspending barricade, it can one-shot low resilience with all six rockets and the lash damage, like Drew was tier two here. Max resilience, it leaves them very low if you catch them with it all. Easy cleanup. And just like in PvE, the rockets track a very far distance. It finds, it seeks. Keep that in mind. But also, another thing to keep in mind, if you know that they're there and there's a window with cover, it will seek up and over cover and land those rockets. As far as the damage increase, you're not gonna be using a rocket sidearm. And for what it's worth, if you land six rockets, that's the max damage buff for 10 seconds. It makes the rocket sidearm deal 33% more. There's that. You would be using this for the rocket damage. And are they good? I think so. Better than let's say Mask of the Quiet One or numerous others? Yeah, I think so, a thousand percent. I think that they're useful and I'm currently holding judgment and I imagine they're annoying to play against. But four rockets gets you over 100 damage. Six rockets is a lot of damage. Just for using your class ability. I don't really hate anything about them. I kind of like them. They show up, they clean up, they get assists. And using it with the lash is great, suspending them. Easy follow-ups. So in conclusion, I think it's a must have. There's huge potential here. There's no setup needed, not like you needing orbs or this big wind up or this chain of events. You just land crits, then you do the loop and you do big damage with a rocket sidearm and a rocket. It's gonna be back before you know it. It's big free damage. Honestly, one of the best exotics in the game, pound for pound in my eyes. Go get it. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about hazardous propulsion down below. What are your thoughts on it? And anything you'd like to add? Thank you for watching. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.